Good morning. The content of this presentation would be the learning objectives, defining the program, identifying different programming languages, defining what is Java and its characteristics, basic Java program structure and its anatomy. For the learning objectives at the end of this lesson, student must be able to define what a program is and identify the different types of programming languages. Review and identify what is Java and understand its characteristics. Review how to write a Java program and understand its structure. Appreciate the anatomy of Java programming language. Let's define what is program. Programs can be defined as a software or instructions or set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. So these are instructions to the computers. So we tell the computer what to do through programs. So without the programs, computer is an empty machine. Programs are re written using a programming language. A programming language can be classified into a machine language, assembly language, and a high level language. So a machine language is a set of primitive instructions built into every computer. So the instructions are in form of binary code, sets of zeros and ones. Programs are highly difficult to read and modify. For example, to add two numbers, you might write an instruction in binary like this. So we have sets of zeros and ones. Assembly language were developed to make programming more easy. A program called assembler is used to convert assembly language or programs into a machine code. For example, in assembly language, to add two numbers, you might write an instruction in assembly code like this. Add F3, R1, R2, R3, and so on and so forth. So in high-level language, these are English-like and easy-to-learn programs. Example would be creating a statement similar to this. To compute an area, so we have area is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3.1415. So this computes the area of a circle with a radius 5. So there are many popular high-level language and, and some of these are the COBOL or the Common Business Oriented Language, the FORTRAN or the Formula Translation or Formula Translator, the BASIC or the Beginner All-Purpose Symbolic Instructional Code. And then we have the PASCAL named after the Blaise PASCAL. We have the ADA or named after ADA Lovelace C, whose developer designed B first. And then we have the Visual BASIC, so BASIC-like language developed by Microsoft. We have the Delphi, Pascal Visual Language developed by Borland. We also have C++, an object-oriented uh, object language based on C, and Java so developed by Sun Microsoft. So in high-level language, so source code or object code should be compiled. Program written in high-level language is called source program. So program called a compiler to translate the source program into a machine language called an object program. So the object program is opened, then linked and executed on a machine. So why we use Java? Java enables users and programmers to develop and deploy application on internet for servers, desktop computers, and small handheld devices. Java is general purpose programming language. So it is an internet programming language. So we use Java to develop web applications, Java applets, Java servlets, and Java server page. Java can also be used to develop application for handheld devices such as Palm and smartphone. So what are the characteristics of Java? Java is simple. Java is partially modeled on C++ but greatly simplified and improved. Some people refer to, to Java as C++ because it is like C++ but with more functionality and fewer negative aspects. Another characteristic of Java, it is an object-oriented programming. So Java is inherently object-oriented through many ob object-oriented language began strictly as procedural language. Java was designed from the start to be an object-oriented or OOP. So OOP is a popular program programming approach that is replacing traditional procedural programming. So one of the central issues in software development is how to reuse code. OOP provides great flexibility, modularity, clarity, reusability through encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism.
Java is also distributed. Distributed computing involves several computers working together on a network. Java is designed to make distributed computing easy. Since networking capability is inherently integrated into Java, writing network program is like sending and receiving data to and from a file. Another characteristic of Java is interpreted. You need an interpreter to run Java program. The programs are compiled into JVM or Java Virtual Machine Code also known or also called as bytecode. The bytecode is a machine independent and can run on any machine that has a Java interpreter, which is a part of the JVM. Java is robust. Java compilers can detect many problems that would be would first show up at an extension time or execution time in other languages. Java has eliminated certain types of error-prone programming constructs found on other programming language. Java has a runtime exception handling feature for provide programming support for robustness. Java is secure. Java implements several security mechanisms to protect system against harm caused by stray programs. Java is portable because Java is architecturally neutral. Java programs portability. They can be run on any platform without being recompiled. Java's performance is portable and secure. Its performance is greatly improved. So Java is multi-threaded. So multi-threaded programming is multi-integrated in Java, whereas in other language, you have to call procedure specific to the operating system to enable multi-threading. So these are the characteristics of the Java. So Java has many uh, development kits or the JDK, Java Standard Edition, or the J2SE. So it, it can be used to develop client-side uh, standalone application or applets. So we, we, could, we could also use Java Enterprise Edition or the J2EE. Development kit is used to develop server-side application such as Java servlets and Java server page. And then we have the JME or the J2ME. So this is used to develop application for mobile devices such as cell phone. For the IDE tools, so we can use the J Builders, so made by Borland. And then we have the J Developers by Oracle. We have the J Creator, the NetBeans, open source by The Sun or the Oracle. Eclipse, open source by the IBM. We could also use Text Editor for our source code in creating Java programs. To create a simple Java program, so this program prints welcome to Java. First, so we have the modifier. Okay, so we have the public. Okay, so we have the access modifier public. Then we have the class and then we have the class name welcome. And for the main method, we have public static void main string args. And then we have the block statement. Inside the block statement, we have system that out that print print ln and then we have the string welcome to java and then that is the statement and then terminated by a semicolon so this would be the procedure in creating programs in java so first we create we modify the source code and then the source code should be uh, compiled and should be converted into bytecode and the bytecode should be run so to run a bytecode or the object code, so we use Java and then the class name. And then the result will be displayed. In compiling Java source code, so Java was designed to run object program on any platform. In Java, you write the program once and compile the source program into special type of object code, the source. So the bytecode can then run on any computer with Java Virtual Machine as shown in Figure 3 or the Java Virtual Machine where interpreters uh, interprets the Java bytecode. So what is the anatomy of the Java program? So we have comments, reserve words, modifiers, statements, blocks, classes, methods, 
and the main methods. A well-written computer program requires documentation. So this is information about the program, including uh, the purpose of the program, who wrote it, when it was written, and how to use it. Documentation can also contain a brief or explain a detailed explanation of specific section of the program code which can help the programmer understand the program months or years later when it when it requires modification. So in creating programs, pseudocodes and flowcharts are tools used to describe a procedural approach in creating programs. Pseudocode is a text that closely resembles syntax of a programming language. Pseudocode will not compile because it does not precisely follow a syntax. If you are planning a program but don't know or care what programming language someone, someone may decide to use, would be probably a very general pseudocode. And then the other hand, you can also use flowchart in planning programs. So flowchart is a picture or pictorial representation or pictorial means of describing a program's basic structure. In a flowchart, spe special graphic symbols represent different parts of the program such as starting, making preparation, getting input, processing data, providing output, and stopping. Okay, thank you. So for your asynchronous activities, download and answer exercises activity 1 and 2. Completed exercises or activities should be uploaded to Schoology. The submission date will be up to September 11, 2020.